Hello and welcome to Gabbett Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to talk about the long-awaited release date for Blender 2.8. So uh, in this video we'll be looking at the release date of course and uh, Blender in production in general so I've been working in Blender 2.8 for a while and animation, uh, what I'm working on at the moment and other news. So first of all the release date for 2.8 is July so the long-awaited uh, date is finally with us that so we've been told uh, through their uh, media uh, that it is July. Uh, very excited about it. So is it uh, finally time for beginners maybe to move across and start using the beta? Uh, well I have uh, released a video before this saying about whether uh, you should or shouldn't and I was undecided but now I would say that I think it's a really good time for beginners to get across and start using 2.8. Uh, so if you haven't already, I think it's well worth it. And my main reasons are that now uh, there's enough documentation. They've actually got a manual. I've, I don't know how long that manual's been there, but I just noticed it the other day. So under the help section, they've got a manual section now, so you can actually look things up. And that was uh, missing in the past. Well, I couldn't find it in the past anyway. So there's that. Uh, there's also lots of tutorials out there now, whereas when I last posted, it, they, was, they were getting there, but there's lots now. Blender Gurus released a couple, so uh, there you go. Uh, if he's released some, then things must be moving on. Uh, and uh, there's, there's obviously Gabbit Media tutorials for you, uh, which I'll put the links in the description. Uh, so do have a look at those. Uh, and also, um, I've been using it uh, a long time uh, a long time now and uh, recently I haven't had a crash for a while. I shouldn't really say that should I? Is this going to crash now on me? Uh, but I haven't had a crash for ages, it seems really stable uh, so uh, the, there doesn't seem to be uh, many glitches now. The few I have noticed are in quite complicated things so like hair dynamics or FBX export so beginners you shouldn't have to worry about those sort of things so generally speaking I think uh, a lot of the glitches are being ironed out so uh, it's quite exciting I think you should get across and start using it and uh, I feel like it's easier to get to grips with um, I had to go back to Blender 2.79 recently and it it's quite jarring and quite difficult to go back to the old ways as it were um, and some of those things just aren't intuitive so um, I would go across the 2.8 if you're a beginner certainly um, so we've also had uh, spring the movie which is quite exciting I think they've done an excellent job there so uh, it's well worth watching that so look up uh, well just go to blender and it's on their front page uh, blender.org and the spring movie is there uh, I've said about using yes no crash at all that's great isn't it um, yeah uh, so uh, animation uh, is the next thing that I want to talk about. Uh, that's coming up in May and uh, I've figured out the categories and uh, we've got sponsorship. Uh, Sketchfab have agreed to sponsor us. Uh, I haven't contacted many other people uh, because I'm just struggling for time at the moment because I'm doing lots of different productions which I'll talk about in a moment. Uh, but uh, that's quite exciting. Uh, so there'll be a challenge. There'll be 14 in total across the month of May uh, and there'll be different animation challenges. So you'll get uh, you can download the rig and a facial rig and you can just test out your animations ideally upload them to Sketchfab hence they're sponsoring us uh, but I've found some difficulties there because of 2.8's FBX export problems I have reported the bug, the bug, the bug to uh, the Blender team hopefully they'll do something about that hopefully maybe it's just me and some weird setting I had it on and they'll come back and tell me stop pestering us and uh, get it right next time. Uh, hopefully that's all it is. Uh, so uh, a few glitches to iron out there before we can easily upload to Sketchfab but it's quite a nice easy thing to do, nice way to look at our animations and I think Sketchfab will do a bit of promotion as well so uh, they might sort of show the best of and that sort of thing so uh, it, it's well worth getting involved is what I'm trying to say. I'll also be going through the challenges myself and doing type of uh, tutorial type of tutorial? Uh, tutorial type things with commentaries, there'll probably be a bit of time lapse there to squish it down but I'll try and talk through the process that I'm doing and I'm going to try and release that a day before uh, each category so let's say the first one was stabbing, why have I said stabbing? <laughs> but let's say the action or the the animation was a stabbing motion that you're supposed to do, I don't know, a morbid mind or something uh, and uh, I would try and do that category uh, b the day before so I'd release a video about me doing the stabbing the animation of the stabbing 
and uh, then uh, newbies or whoever it might be, noobs, uh, noobs, uh, would be able to have a go and look at the video and see how I've done it. Uh, so maybe if you're completely new to it, then you can sort of follow along a little bit. It won't be completely step by step. Uh, so if you're a complete newbie, uh, then do look at my animation uh, series on the Complete Beginner's Guide to Animation in 2.8. Anyway, uh, so that's um, the animation uh, competition, uh, 1st of May. Uh, join the Facebook group or the Discord server. I'm doing uh, sort of doing both. Lots of people were anti-Facebook for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, I can understand that. Maybe I shouldn't have even opened up a Facebook group and just kept it to the Discord. But I wanted to try and I wanted to try and keep it open for everybody. That's uh, that's the thinking. So lots of people are on Facebook. That that's where I was going with that. Anyway. Uh, so um, in terms of uh, what I'm working on, because I say I've been using 2.8 a lot, um, I've done the sort of uh, lion ident slash title sequence, which is on hold at the moment uh, because um, I'm not getting the information I need from. Uh, the client, but um, I think it probably will come, So, and I'm not too worried about putting that on hold because I've got to do a music video, an animated music video. Hopefully I'll be able to release that uh, in terms of tutorials about what I'm doing in that process because it's very interesting. Lots of uh, effects based stuff, particles and uh, things like that, uh, and interesting animations, uh, but I've obviously uh, I can't release it at the moment because uh, the client and the copyright and all that sort of thing. So hopefully there'll be some tutorials on that soon. Um, I've also got um, other video work and uh, so yeah, there's it's pretty manic actually and I really want to prepare for animation uh, and I'm just not getting time. So hence why there haven't been so many videos uh, recently. Uh, so I think uh, in terms of other news, yeah, the Discord uh, server, uh, the competition, the nature competition, so that's the title, nature, and that is the 22nd of April, so the Monday coming, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, but the 22nd of April 2019, let's say you're watching this uh, in the future, that's that way, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm starting to babble, you can tell, probably. Uh, but yes, yeah, so join the Discord server, get your picture on the wall of fame, if you manage to uh, win the competition. Uh, so yeah, uh, some good entries already. Uh, looking forward to judging that one on Tuesday, all going well. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.